And Cray Vegan is here living in the kitchen with us. Cray Vegan is a San Marco plant based restaurant where food is love. And so Absolutely. we're joined by Chef Latasha and Chef Lou. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to First Coast <laughs> Living. Hi, how are you? I'm so well. I'm, I'm doing great. And this smells amazing, by Thank the way. You. And that looks like meat to me. So first, let's get into what you're making right now. So right now, um, one of our dinner menu options is our Italian sausage, peppers and onions, like the traditional southern peppers, sausage, and right. onions, and what have you. So this is our vegan version. Okay. Um, everything on the menu, they're all my recipes, so it's void of chemicals and additives and uh, oh, wow. preservatives, things like that. So this is pure uh, made from sausage. The sausage is made from potatoes and cabbage. Really? With the herbs and spices and a whole lot of vegan magic, and voila, you oh have my this gosh. delicious dish with our seasoned jasmine rice and uh, collard greens. I cannot wait to try <laughs> yes, it. So indeed. tell us about Cray Vegan for someone who's never been there before. Right, so Cray Vegan, I started this brand back in, um, I established Cray Vegan March uh, 3rd of 2018. Oh, now here's, you survived the pandemic? We survived the pandemic, yay for us, but here's the cool thing, and this is like a little known fact. Cray Vegan is, was born out of the effort to keep my hog farm raised husband <laughs> vegan. So uh, we went vegan yeah. cold turkey. Really? Uh, July 9th, 2017, to be exact. That is the day we went vegan. And my hog farm raised husband said, hey, when I die, um, my last meal is going to be a pork chop and mashed potatoes <laughs> and sweet peas. There you go. <laughs> that is no longer. Oh, no, you can't <laughs> compromise on the last meal. <laughs> Absolutely. That's oh it. my God. But that's not, funny. not no longer, you know, because right. I'm a vegan. And so I wow. knew to keep my hog farm raised husband vegan, I had to do things a little differently okay. than what was in the market at the time. Right. And so that's so that's what I needed and that's what I did. And so now the world is the beneficiary of the love that I have for my husband. Aww. You know, so yes, yeah, so How long that's have been married. Fifteen fifteen years. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Yeah, it's together fifteen and a half. Okay, so what was the dish that started it all? What was like the the piece de la resistance? The the, the ribs, the uh, ribs. smoked cravy vegan. bag vegan ribs. Yeah. Uh, vegan you know, ribs. Because again, hog side. farm raised husband. I'm trying to keep <laughs> vegan, right? And so the first batch of ribs, texture trash, flavor perfect. Okay. Into the trash it went uh, because it was just the texture was bad and right. And for our followers and people who've come and enjoyed um, the, our creations texture is on point. I'm a texture Te person. Texture yes. is on point, so I can't wait for you to try it. And so the ribs, I went back to the drawing board and they were good, the texture was together, but then it's like, wait, hey, they're not my favorite. So I added additional um, vegetable and some additional herbs and now they're picture perfect still to this day. They are the number one seller. I was gonna say, what is your top They're seller? still the number yeah. one. And so here's what's interesting. We have chicken, jackfruit chicken. Southern fried, it's smothered in our herb gravy, what have you. Every now and again, the chicken will bump right above the ribs, okay. and then the next week they go the, the ribs. They, they, and the Mongolian. So when yes. we created the Mongolian, uh -huh. um, which was for the Vegan Chef Challenge, and mm -hmm. we won the number one entree, it was so popular, I had to put it on the menu. Right. So now the ribs will fight with the chicken dinner and the, um, and the Mongolian on beef barbecue. Wow. So yeah, and we're gonna um, feature that today. So Now you guys let me ask it. you this though, cutting cold turkey, cutting meat cold turkey, mm -hmm. or actually anything that's vegan because sure. anything that's created from an animal that's honey that's, that's eggs that's cheese that's everything it's not just the animal that's correct so how was that for you to just completely quit that well we were already a uh, dairy free household i'm severely okay. severely allergic to dairy actually we all are but that's another <laughs> conversation <laughs> um so i haven't as of now i've not had dairy in 19 years so wow. that aspect was very easy however we loved eggs like we would eat eggs I after eggs. work as i was cooking dinner like mm. our eggs was our appetizer right so but once we made the switch I don't miss anything. Well, I want to try it then because I have yes. not made a switch. Yes, so yes. And I want to see if I can. If test you can, me here. yes. So let me get, let me plate this really quickly. Uh, Mr. Lou, did you remember? Do we, do we have forks? You know what? I'll just grab one of these uh, pieces of vegan meat with my hand. How about that? <laughs> I'll be eating on that a little bit later. We'll go grab a fork. Right. Oh my wow. Oh my wow. So let's do this. Well, okay. she there wants, we go. actually, she wants a sample. I'll just try a little. Yep. And let's try. Oh my wow. Let's see if we can get this to happen for you. Okay. Thank Delicious. you so much. Yes, indeed. All right. Here we go, guys. I potatoes I don't and eat cabbage. Vegan meat. So this is made of potatoes and cabbage. And we smoke that in house. Sausage. You know what? Mm-hmm. If you wouldn't have told me, I know. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I know. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going to yes. be checking back with you a little bit later. Of course, so thank of you course. so much for yes, this. Yes, ma'am.